Good morning everyone. My name is Melanie and welcome back to a slice of heaven homestead. We're here for another day of adventuring in Chiang Mai, Thailand. We started our day by feeding some wild macaque monkeys. They love the bananas. It was fun, but with all wild animals, they are not pets and can be unpredictable so we tried to keep our distance. <laughs> they ran out of interest in us when the bananas ran out. We then drove to the Muang An Cave, where there was a breathtaking view of the valley below, just before the breathtaking stair climb to the entrance of the cave. Going down into the cave was not difficult, though there were some small spaces and very steep stairs. The cavern was huge and filled with beautiful limestone stalactite and stalagmite formations. When you come to the Muang An Cave, 
be prepared for lots of stairs. Uh, there's it's about 180 stairs up to the top here, and then you go down some more stairs, back up and back down. It's about 25 flights of stairs in all, going up and back down. Next, we headed over to the San Campan Hot Springs, where we enjoyed a nice natural mineral bath and a relaxing massage afterwards. The naturally heated springs are around the temperature of boiling water. The water that feeds into the pool is cooled to around 94 degrees before it is pumped in. But there are other springs around that are too hot to enter. So hot in fact that you can purchase a basket of eggs and hard boil them in the springs. Our last stop of the day was at the Long Neck Village. This visit was a difficult one. I didn't film a whole lot because I didn't want to treat the people of the village as if they were an attraction at a fair. The Long Necks here in Chiang Mai are refugees from Myanmar who fled there during the 1980s to avoid persecution. They are allowed to stay but will be deported if they ever leave the village. So their only source of income is the things that they make and sell in their village. For this reason, I'm glad that we came and bought some handmade souvenirs that will help support them. The women of the Long Neck tribe wear the rings on their necks for beauty and as a symbol of their identity, though the old legend says that it was to protect them from tiger attacks. Starting around the age of five, a new ring is added every year. This does not, however, stretch their necks, but the weight of the ring slowly pushes their collarbones downward and gives the appearance of long necks. I'm glad we took the time to learn about their history and culture and to support the small community of refugees. Guys, thank you for joining me today on another Thailand adventure. Spread a little kindness and encourage one another today. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, we hope you find your slice of heaven too.